business leaders agree on one thing. Small and medium enterprises, otherwise known as SMEs, are the backbone of every nation's economy. They create jobs, generate revenue, and provide essential goods and services in the communities where they operate and beyond. With me is a man that is fast becoming the face of SME development in Nigeria. He's committed to the promotion and facilitation of rapid SME growth in Nigeria. Charles Odi, welcome. It's great to have you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So first off, let's start with uh, the background of your organization, SME 100 Nigeria, and the work you do for SMEs. So basically, SME 100 Nigeria is a social enterprise set up in Nigeria to stimulate entrepreneurship amongst young um, Nigerians and women. And we support entrepreneurs with five business basic requirements, uh, which is access to finance, access to market, capacity development and trainings, access to mentors and networks. So for access to finance, we prepare books for, of small businesses to access financing from financing organizations, big government or private individuals. Uh, for access to market, we have our platform where these small businesses can sell their, their goods and services and make some money, more money for themselves. And for capacity development, every month we have trainings, you know, ranging from um, small business trainings to soft skill trainings, you know, employability trainings for these this, um, business owners. And we organize plat um, platforms for networking for small businesses where they can come together, you know, foster healthy business partnerships. And we hook them up with mentors because some of them actually do not need money. They do not need uh, this education. They just need a, they just need a mentor. They need someone to hold their hands. And that's what, that's what we do basically with SMO Wonder Nigeria. Okay, so did you, when did you develop an affinity for small businesses? And when did this affinity grow to a full-blown passion? Okay, so um, my background is in um, IT, information and communication technology. I have worked with a um, multinational IT company, and then a, a need arose for uh, a small tech organization that wanted um, someone to help with business development. So I took the opportunity, and I found out that what was out there is different from what it was with this small business. It was um, Jovago at the time, which is now Jumia Travel. Mm -hmm. You know, so I worked with business development there. And you, before then, I knew there were disturbing statistics that showed that 65% um, of small businesses die in the first three years, and they die because of money. You know, but when I went to work with this organization, I found out that money wasn't the core of the business, you know, which basically skill, knowledge, and basically a positive attitude to work. So uh, when I left there, I also consulted for other small businesses, you know, for Red Media Africa, for Information Nigeria, et cetera, et cetera. And then we decided that, myself and some of my partners decided that it was time to reduce this high rate of, this high mortality rate of small businesses. Because if you look at it, small businesses, like you said earlier, they're the backbone of any serious economy. Mm -hmm. You know, in 2013, the Nigeria Bureau of, Stat the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics showed us that these small businesses actually contributed to 48% of the GDP. They employed over 59 million people. You know, that's about 84% of the labor force. And then it's just like government 101. If you want to thrive in, the econ in your economy, you should pay a lot of attention to these small businesses. You know, so we thought that we could help to bridge this gap, you know, train people, help them to actually stop thinking about money, but how they can add value to their businesses and to the economy at large. So what concrete achievements have you recorded since you started SME 100 Nigeria? So um, in the last two years, we've been able to train and grow over 1,000 small businesses to be strategic key um, players in their different industries. We've also impacted directly and non indirectly about 10,000 small businesses. So ranging from our economic summits to our trainings, to our access to finance schemes, to our uh, uh, mentoring sessions, you know, these SMEs have the support of, of other young guys who can help them with their strategy, who can help them with relationships, who can even help them with their education in terms of capacity development. And, and the, the, the feedback has been phenomenal. It's been phenomenal. Okay, you mentioned earlier that you've helped um, SMEs develop. Um, the statistics show that the SME space is littered with over 32 million registered SMEs, but a very limited number grow to be medium or large enterprises. What do you think the challenge, the core challenge is? I think the core challenge with small businesses in Nigeria is knowledge, right? Not money. Because I was talking to a young man one time and he thought he needed 10 million naira to start up. 
by the time we were done, he only found out that he needed just 100,000 naira. So to him, what limited him was financing, which basically is not the issue. The issue is knowledge. Knowledge to what your product is, how best to sell your product, knowledge to the market, knowledge of, of how you can create value, you know, knowledge of even opportunities, how you can leverage opportunities. So it's, it's knowledge and information um, that has limited a lot of small businesses from growing and expanding to be um, multinationals and, and, and thriving organizations, you know, breaking beyond the borders of Nigeria. It's just basically, some of them is just knowledge. So can you tell us a bit more about your mentorship program and the training programs that you organize for SMEs in your network? So we have a large faculty of trainers and they train from ranging, they train from financing to hiring, to um, technology, you know, to how best to run an organization in, in, in Nigeria. And um, these trainings happen every month from workshops and seminars that we organize. And they happen from a one day training, sometimes we train for three days. And these, these entrepreneurs get, they get to go back to run better, sustainable businesses. So you recently held the 25 under 25 awards, Cassie, I hope I'm correct. Yes. <laughs> Can you please tell us more about the award ceremony? So it's Nigeria's 25 under 25 right. awards. And I am very, very excited to talk about it everywhere, even if wake me up at night. So what we do basically is we identify 25 entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. innovators, inventors, under the age of 25 who are doing phenomenal things in business and contributing to social economic development in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So these guys basically, for some of them, it's their very first award. For some of them, they never ever thought that anyone even knew what they were doing. For some of them, it has put springs in their steps. And they're like, oh, so if you recognize me, if you guys know that what I'm doing is very important to Nigeria's economy, I will do so much more. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so to me, it was, it was amazing. It was an amazing evening of inspiration, of education, of information. And everyone who left there, left there, even inspired to do so much more. And imagine that we had over 500 people in that room, and all the 500 of them have gone on to even increase their pace and develop themselves to be better entrepreneurs. Imagine what that will happen in the economy. So what is your overall vision for SMEs? And I guess I'll also ask, what are your projections for the future, especially with SME 100 Nigeria? What do you hope to achieve in the long term? So we hope that SME 100 Nigeria will become the one-stop shop for entrepreneurial development in Nigeria. So either anyone who wants to start a business in Nigeria, come to us. We give you a startup kit and you just start up. You What's want in the startup kit? The startup kit are tools that you use for startup. So they are like questions that you ask is embedded with our business model canvas and our business plans. You know, give you a startup kit. Um, if you want to grow your enterprise or your venture, you come to us and then we teach you how to grow your enterprise. If you want to connect with other people to foster healthy business relationships, come to us and we can start that partnership going. If you want a mentor, we can hook you up with a mentor. If you want um, to just play an active role in entrepreneurship, just come to us. And that's the overall goal. So from media to education to in the long term, incubating these SMEs and giving them financing, either grants or small loans where they can start. Yeah, that's the future of SME 100 in Nigeria. Fantastic. Do you have any advice for upcoming entrepreneurs in Nigeria? Absolutely. Um, I say to entrepreneurs all the time, invest in yourself. Um, the difference between you and the next person is, are three things. One is education, two is your relationship, and three is um, your strategy. So invest in these things. Go on our platform, go on our website, um, get developmental articles, read, um, watch videos, listen to podcasts that will help you grow your business. And you remember that um, you can also ask questions. You can ask me, ask Chiamaka, and it will meet with how people are willing to help you. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And don't be afraid to start something today. You can go on our website. Our website is www.100talks.ng of www.sm100nigeria.com. We'll be glad to hear from you. Thank you so much.
For more information on SME 100 Nigeria, visit www.sme100nigeria.com. If you like this video, please subscribe and stay connected with us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.